Well, the conclusion from the apparent conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics is that their most conventional formulation, one of them has to be wrong, or both of them have to be wrong. Otherwise, they would fit together. Somebody's got to cry uncle. So you might ask, when string theory puts general relativity and quantum mechanics together, who is it that cries uncle? The answer is general relativity. The laws of quantum mechanics are brought into string theory unchanged. They're the conventional version of quantum mechanics that we use in our mathematical formulation of string theory. But general relativity in string theory, the math that Einstein wrote down, his famous field equations, they receive corrections in quantum mechanics, tiny corrections that would have no effect when you're applying his ideas to planets and stars and galaxies, but they have a big effect when you apply his mathematics to small things.